history, so welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about some books that I will probably never read. I know that it's kind of like a harsh judgment to sort of make on all the books that I'm about to mention, but I want to preface this by saying that it's not that I know that I would hate these books if I read them, it's mainly just that I don't have any interest in picking them up and while I might still at some point change my mind on that, for now um, I don't want to read them. I don't care enough to want to read them. And this video is also in part to maybe make you convince me to read them for whatever reason, whatever argument you have. Tell me, because, um, I don't know, I would like to know why I should change my mind on it. I actually have done a video like this before, but I think that that was just a tag video with set questions, whereas today I'm just going to give you a rundown of the books that I have written down that I don't ever feel like reading, for now at least. The first book is Caraval by, I think, Stephanie Garber or something. The book was big, I believe, last year, and then first there was so much hype about it, and then everybody hated it. and. I wasn't gonna pick it up anyway because it already sounded kind of like dodgy to me in terms of like it's just gonna be another YA fantasy, I don't care enough. And then people sort of confirmed my fears and thoughts for it and I just, I will never read this book, I can tell you that much. The next book is a more, I guess, recent release that again has gotten a lot of flack for being shitty. And again, it wasn't really a book that I was ever interested in picking up. And that is Zenith by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. The reason I don't want to read it is not because I'm worried of being like uh, confronted with the decision whether I should bash a, a fellow booktuber um, if I don't like it, which kind of based on the reviews it's getting, I'm pretty certain that I won't like it. But it's more that I have heard the criticisms of it and those things tend to bother me a lot in books and I don't even want to try basically based on that. I don't even want to give it a chance because I don't think it is for me. And I think that that's a valid thing to say about a book. It's like, I don't think it's for me. I'm, I'm not gonna enjoy it most likely. So I don't see any reason for me to read this. The next is definitely a little bit more controversial because I think that like 99.99% of people that have read this book have adored it. It has been on a New York Times bestseller list for like a solid year, I think at number one for a solid year, and there must be a reason for that. I'm not saying it's a bad book because I haven't read it yet, but that's The Hate You Gave by Andy Thomas. And at this point, the reason why I don't want to read it isn't even like clear to me because I was like seeing people talk about it everywhere and then I was like, oh, it looks interesting. But I feel like at this point, I've heard so much about it. I've heard everyone talk about it that that fact alone repels me and that that fact alone makes me not want to read it because I feel like, I don't know, there won't be anything that I have to add to the conversation, there won't be anything new that I am hearing that I will think that like people haven't thought before and that's not necessarily a bad thing but just, I don't, I just don't know, I just don't want to read it. It's nothing personal, it's nothing like, not even, it's not even me thinking the book is bad ahead of time or like it will be bad, it's just that I don't care to read it. I don't know why, I don't know why. I'm sure it's amazing. There's a reason probably for why it is so beloved. Next is um, another new release that, again, I think it's gotten mixed reviews. And I was thinking maybe I should pick it up just to potentially do a rant video on it because I might have those sorts of feelings about it. But then I felt like I don't want to just read a book just because. I might hate it and could do a rant video on it, like that's not the best motivation and like the best emotions to go into a book with, but that is Restore Me by Tahara Mafi. And I have read the entire Shadow trilogy so far, I guess I enjoyed it at the time of reading it, but it's been years, I think like four years, three years, I don't even know, when did the last, four years, yeah, I think four, the last book might have come out in 2014, so it must have been four years. It was fine, but I feel like I forgot most of the content, and I don't care to reread the first three books, and I don't think I would enjoy them now, where to pick them up now for the first time, so, but I guess I just like don't want to 
spend money and time and energy and you know negative emotions if I were to have them on a book that I probably won't enjoy that's not for me anymore that I know I've grown out of the genre that I know I'm like over I have so many books to read and I'm not just gonna read books because they're popular I'm not just gonna read books because I feel like a video on them might get views so yeah I'm just gonna read what I want to read which is all of my TBR shelves it's a lot it's definitely too much but uh I don't know, there are so many books here that sound more interesting to me, so I want to read them first and then don't really care about Restore Me that much. And lastly is the Illuminate Chronicles, I think that's what they're called, by Jake Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. I think that those are the authors. I heard pretty much exclusively good things on these books, but no. First of all, I haven't always had the best experiences with co-authored books, just because I find that they're often a bit jagged in their composition and uh, a little as uncomfortable to read because they don't have this nice flow to them as they maybe would if it just had been one single author um, but that's not like the biggest reason the biggest reason is kind of just like I don't really care about it I don't care about most YA series actually that's that's a fact um, I find it really hard to find new things that actually capture my interest and that don't sound like they have been done a million times before. And I know that the Illuminate file, oh, files, that's what they're called, Illuminate files, that they have um, mixed media in them, that they, people have said that they're quite unique in that sense. But I just, I just don't care. <laughs> I don't feel like I should read them. These have all been young adult books. Is there an adult book I don't care about? And the last one is actually an adult book, which is the only exception, I guess, in this on this list. But it is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, I think. Uh, I keep mixing up that name with The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle because they have the same sir, uh, first name and also it's The Seven something. So it's confusing, okay? Now that I'm talking about it, I'm actually a little bit interested in reading the book. I heard so many great things about it, like exclusively good things. But, and the cover is gorgeous, I think. It's like green and shit. Convince me, okay? If you've read the book and you love it, convince me to read it, please. Give me a reason to buy it. As if I needed reasons <laughs> to buy books. It's an issue. But basically, I don't know. I just, it just flew under my radar. I mean, I noticed it was there. I noticed people talking about it, but I never felt like, oh my God, I need this. So, convince me in the comments. That is your homework. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so that is it for this random video of books I'll probably never read. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, give your reasons why I should read these books in the comments. I know last time I did the video, someone was saying that they would never say they won't ever read a book because they can't definitively make that claim and I understand that. But I also know that like there's so many books I want to read that I think about even. Like I think about the books all the time, even when I'm not reading them. I'm thinking about like when I will get to read them. And if that's not the case with a book, then that will probably never happen because I have so many books that I feel so strongly about wanting to read. That the ones that I feel only a little bit strongly about or like mediumly about <laughs> wanting to read, that they just like don't, they don't, they have, there's no space for them. And I need to draw the line somewhere. Can't read everything that's been, ever been written as much as I would like to. So these are just the low drafts. They're, they're being cut from the stock. Can you tell I just read Red Rising? I don't know if you can, but I love the book, by the way. It was so fucking good. Okay, bye. Um, not bye. I do an ending usually. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe as always. And come back every Tuesday and Friday for new videos. I will see you then. Have a lovely week. Bye.